Hello, I'm Carrie Ziegler. I'm a Davis parent and a member of the all-volunteer campaign to pass Measure H, a local ballot measure that continues a parcel tax for education, a parcel tax that supports our schools and benefits all of our students in our community. Davis voters have supported our schools with a parcel tax for education since 1984. It is thanks to the ongoing commitment of Davis voters that our schools are among the best in the region and the state. Measure H will continue funding for critical academic programs that are important for all of our students. And it also pays for many of the extracurricular activities that help our kids enjoy learning. By voting yes on Measure H, we will continue stable funding for reduced class sizes, reading specialists and reading aids, math coaches and lab science in our elementary schools. Measure H also pays for music in elementary schools and secondary schools and libraries and librarians in all of our district schools. At our secondary schools, our junior high and high schools, Measure H pays for important programs that touch virtually all facets of student life, including world languages, AP classes, technology and vocational training classes, and it pays for co-curricular programs including drama, speech and debate, journalism, robotics, and athletics. Measure H also ensures that junior high and high schools have services and staff that promote student health and safety by providing funding for counselors, nurses, health aides, psychologists, and junior high school vice principals. Measure H prov provides academic and extracurricular activities that keep all of our kids learning and help them enjoy learning. It also funds 100 teaching and staff positions to make all these programs possible. Now you may hear that Measure H is a tax increase. The reality is this measure raises the same amount of funding as our schools currently receive, but the parcel tax for homeowners is increased slightly about $90 a year or $7 a month because of a legal change in how we collect the tax. And you should know the renewed parcel tax will be in place for eight years to provide long-term stable funding for our schools. Our parcel tax for education also has real direct value for property owners who don't have kids in Davis schools. A recent real estate industry survey showed that houses in school districts with a parcel tax have a much higher value than homes in school districts without a parcel tax. According to industry statistics, uh, there's an average of about $50 a square foot more in value for homes in districts with a parcel tax versus homes in districts without, which makes our parcel tax a good investment. We all know that when we ask people why they moved to Davis, the most common answer is for the schools. And that's because Davis voters since 1984 have made an ongoing investment in our schools and our community. So on behalf of our schools, on behalf of our students, our community, and our all volunteer Measure H campaign, I ask you to continue our tradition of support for our schools and vote yes on Measure H.